everyone, Brandon here, or the channel says Kennedy Reviews here. Today we are going to look at this Grimes record, which is a really long title. Um, we're just going to call it the Cyberpunk Club Mix Album Review. I think most of y'all know what game was released not too long ago. Yes, Cyberpunk 2077, a game that was highly anticipated throughout the year of 2020, but the game got delayed, delayed, and delayed, and now we finally get to play it. I played it personally. To me, I, I loved the game. I mean, it was really good. Upon release, the game had countless memes before the release date. Like, here's this overused meme of Keanu Reeves. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. And after the game's release, the bugs and the glitches were the memes. Like, take a look at this meme where basically the game's broken. Like, literally. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. We're not here to talk about the game. We're here to talk about Grimes' surprise DJ mix of this album, which I'm not going to say the name. It was a surprise release, and um, yeah, we're going to review this album of her and the mixing of her, of the songs that most of the artists made and she could combine them and it turned into a lot of club bangers in this album. So um, yeah, before we get into this review, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for future content, and yeah, let's get on with this review. We start off a track one with grind sample of Kill V Mame, which is a track off her critically acclaimed pop album Art Angels. To me, this was a banger to me. First, right off the rails. It was a banger. Um, the production was great. Very great club mixing. Um, literally, I would play this song when I'm driving home from work, basically. It's, it's a really good banger to this DJ mix. Track 2 comes in with a great transition featuring Tuvlo, and the original song was made by Diplo. Um, it was a great song, great club mixing, still banger from the first one. It would make me feel like I want a ball on acid or something. But please, don't do drugs, kids. Track 3 comes in with these hi-hats, and then it was a slowed down, down-tempo electronic song. To me, I didn't feel this track. I felt this track was your just typical nightclub music. Just like the entire album is just your typical nightclub music. But it was... I wasn't feeling this one. This one was... Down in the edge and down in the dumpster pile. It was... It was nothing to me. Track 4 comes in with one of my favorite grime songs ever. We appreciate power. The song starts off with her singing the typical lyrics from the original song. And then... Bass drop. Boom. Um, ooh, what do we see about this track? It was great. Volick did the performance very well. More down tempo in the end. It's a really good album. Will I play it again? Absolutely. This song is a banger. Straight from the start. And then... Yeah. The transition to track 5 is absolutely amazing. Rihanna comes in where sh her song Shine Bright Like a Diamond, the club mix scene was great, and then uh, here comes Ariana Grande with Dangerous Woman. Like, wow, this is uh, this track brings the nightlife to life. Like, this track is absolutely amazing. Great performer, great mixing grimes. This one was absolutely a banger. Track 6 is a wobbly track. Um, it, the most of the lyrics saying, free your body, free your mind, free your soul. Um, heck yeah, I want to free my mind, free my body, and free my soul in this track. I mean, it's absolutely another banger. I would totally dance to this song. It's very, very great. Um, so far, the album is really good to me. It's been really, really good to me. 
Track 7 makes Rihanna's hit song, Bitch Better Have My Money, of 10 times better. This track is just another club banger. Another straight club banger. Um, I got nothing to say about this one. This one is an absolutely great track. Whew, this will get you turned up. This track features... A slow down tempo song to start off with. And here comes Ariana Grande and the dancing starts. And it, it's absolutely a great track. Another futuristic track in this DJ mix. And then track 9. Um, it didn't really hit me. Track 9 didn't even really hit me at all. It was like more of an interlude. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't catch me at all. So yeah. Track 10 starts off with a classical music piece called The Four Seasons. OPA Spring, which is, a, which is a really great beginning, and then here comes I.O.'s um, song Low. Rest in peace to I.O., though. He passed away this year. Sorry for him. So, and then the club, and then the club music, the club banger, it, it was a really good song. It was a really good song. Rest in peace to I.O. Um, it's been a tough year for all of us, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, this track was really great. It was really great. Track 11 starts off with Russian pop duo Tattoo. Mostly known for their song is All the Things That She Said. Is that correct? I think that's correct. Um, the track didn't really got into me. It was, it was straight out of rubbish. It's rubbish. To me, it didn't even hit me at all. It was completely, utterly garbage. Um, just couldn't get into it. I was like, the instrumentals were bad. Track 12, I didn't really get into it. It was, it was nothing, nothing special for me. It was more of an interlude. But the, the ending to track 12 will transition into the next track that we're going to talk about. Track 13 starts off with an explosion and the Ramones hit song Britsky Bop starts playing. And then here comes one of the best transitions in the album, Backstreet, Backstreet Freestyle by Kendrick Lamar off his critically acclaimed hip-hop album, Good Kid Mad City. Um, this song's a banger. This song's a banger. One of the best transitions in the album. Ooh, Grimes put, mixed that heat in this song. I mean, it was really, really good. I think you guys should check it out. It was such a good transition from the previous track. This, this song is absolutely amazing. Track 14 features one of my favorite Grimes songs, Violence. It's the same one as the single one. That, that one that released as a single. It was a really good track. Production's still great. I mean... Come on, man. How can you not like this song? This song is amazing. Um, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate it. Saying her vocals were a little... Uh, to me, the song is a freaking banger. I don't care what any of you haters say. The song is good. To be honest, I'm just going to end it. I'm just going to end the review right here. Because track 15, 16, and 17 didn't really hit me at all. It was completely boring and completely rubbish. It just didn't really capture... The ending out of the album. I mean, it was it was completely boring. I mean, what else could I say? It was the, the last three tracks on the album didn't really hit me. It, it, it was just utter garbage. Just got me sitting here like this. You know, really, just this is the album. This is the album. Just how you're gonna finish it off. So yeah, that's how it is. And yeah, that's Grimes Surprise DJ Mix to Cyberpunk. To me, the album had bangers, but little, little garbage tracks were there. Um, I was feeling a 7 out of 10. This album's great, but had some garbage tracks. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. 
before we end the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if you have Cyberpunk, I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I do. I was experiencing a little bugs, but I hope they fix a, pack, fix a patch soon. Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next review. And probably we are going to do reactions soon. Um, we're going to add sound. Um, we're going to... Still gonna tone down the sound in the music videos and stuff that I'm gonna react to so Stay tuned for that and I hope to see you in the next future content this channel is gonna bring I am Kennedy reviews here Brandon stay safe and have a nice day